Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft The Burning Crusade Classic and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. We are going to pick up the Battle of Hillsbrat today, and I think this might be the last one. Let's take a look here. The Hillsbrat Town Registry indicates that the Azure Lode Mine is under Alliance control. Furthermore, the mine is a prime source of iron ore for the Alliance armories. Even though we struck a decisive blow to the town of Hillsbrad, the Alliance still supports and protects the Azurlode Mine fervently. The mine lies due south of Hillsbrad, go there and slay the foreman, a human by the name of Bonds. Kill his miners as well, that should send a clear message to the Alliance. Victory for there we go, we're finally going to be headed in to the mine, and we can get Miner Hackett while we are there. Still need a bunch of human skulls that we can get from essentially anywhere. But yeah, let's let's head out. It's going to be nice to finish this up, and then we'll see what we want to do next. Yeah, it's going to be the last green quest here. And then we can kind of decide where else we want to go. So we can go back to the Barrens and do some stuff there. We can go into Ashenvale. We do have uh, quite a few different options. Kind of thinking that we'll go to the Southern Barrens and do a couple quests down there. Uh, we can go into Thousand Needles. I do have the flight point now for Free Wind Post, so that is also a possibility. And yeah, lots of different stuff that we can do at this level. And you know, conversely, we could stay here. We could work on Yellow Quest. We have plenty of Yellow Quest to do, but... I kind of want to stay ahead of the leveling curve, and I, I gotta figure out the best way to do that going forward. Uh, is still going to be the zone hop, I think. I hope you guys are all doing well today, and thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you clicking and spending some of your time with me here in Azeroth. Looks like we got some free leather laying on the ground again today. Perfect. We could run with our two-hand sword for a bit and get the skill up on that. Uh, we're at 124 out of 140. And there we go, first loot of the day. We get a green drop, leather, strength, and stamina gear. We have a full inventory. <laughs> that's that's not good. It's not what I want. I've been doing really, really poorly at managing our inventory. It's actually gotten pretty sad. For a while I was doing good and I was selling everything and making sure to check it before I started out every day and then recently it's just been a complete shit show. So yeah, there's that. We'll just dump a bunch of stuff on the ground, not like we need gold or anything. And we'll hope that that's enough to get us through the mine. Oh, you're a level 26 bear. That explains why you aggroed so easily. Oh, you're also a level 26 bear. That explains why I'm going back to the sword and board. All right.
I will fly myself to Undercity today when I'm done recording, and we'll sell a bunch of stuff on the auction house, and... That'll help with the inventory issues. We have a lot of leather that we're just kind of holding on to for no reason. I could just save it. I mean, if we ever wanted to do a leather worker, uh, we would definitely have the leather to kind of fund it. At least to get it going. We have four stacks of light leather. And I, I feel like I also have some leather in the bank, even. Oh my god, you didn't loot any of these? Oh, here we go. Okay, where exactly are we getting into the mine? I, I guess it's going to be somewhere down this way. Yeah, there we go. Discovered the Azure Load Mine. Oh, hello! You aggroed from quite a distance. Okay, so these guys are going to be a little bit higher level than what we've been fighting previously. I need to realign my expectations of what's going to pull these guys, because I thought we were going to walk right past this one, and that didn't happen. So we need to be a little bit more careful, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, this is, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a good start. We're, we're off to a typical, really good start to the episode. Yeah, I really don't know if we're going to out DPS these two guys, actually. Um, okay, he's down. You are still at full health. We have one potion that I would rather not use right now if we can uh, avoid it. I'd rather hang on to it, but that does not seem like that's going to happen. Yeah, I have, to, I have to use the potion. Pretty sure if we don't do that, we're going to be dead. Hey, at least these guys don't run away, right? I mean, it could be worse. Alright. Let's uh, get ourselves healed up and figure out how we can stop pulling these guys accidentally. Oh, that's not going to cut it. Looks like we can start getting into Scarlet Monastery Graveyard. That's actually really awesome. Though maybe I'll wait till level 29 to queue up for that. I feel like we'd be at a better level as a tank if we were level 29. I, I don't really want to have another incident like we had when we went into RF, uh, RFK for the first time where we were woefully underleveled and we couldn't really help the group out very much. It was not a good feeling.
And here's where we're going to start actually using our bandages. And here's where I wish that I had uh, actually trained some wool bandages. Would have been absolutely amazing. I'm going to have to get back to Undercity. Sell on the auction house. Maybe train level 28. I can't recall if we train level 28 or not. Let's pull this guy back here where we're not going to aggro the foreman by accident. Well, this is rather dense. Yeah, I sense a death coming if we're not uh, lucky and uh, more careful down here than we have been. The lack of suitable healing items is not going to help either. Add to that the fact that I actually have no idea where in the hell uh, these guys are at. Foreman Bonds is over here. Oh, hi. Oh, hello. Yeah, just welcome. Welcome to the party. Come on over, why don't you? Uh, we're missing most of our swings. Pretty sure the only reason we're surviving this is because we are pretty well geared from all the dungeons we've been doing. Uh, if not for that, then I feel like we would probably be getting killed. I think it's literally the fact that we are in pretty dang good loot. Like, we're wearing some decent pieces of armor. And yeah, if not for that, we'd probably be dead. These are all set up to, to two-pull, you know, they're not set up to be pulled alone, they're, they're literally set up to be two-pulls. Uh, which is a little bit heinous. Alright, down there is Foreman Bonds. We also need a Miner Hackett, and uh, he is going to be... Oh, he's way back in the opposite direction that we came. That's, that's just amazing. Yeah, awesome. Maybe we need to go get him first, because I think once we jump down there, it's going to have to be a, a long fight out.
Ah, oh, that sucked. I thought for sure we were going to be able to kill that guy and not have to deal with this other one. And yeah, by the time we get Minor Hackett, because of the bad respawn rate in the game, everything's probably going to be back up. We're going to have to fight it all again. Yep, we're going to have to leave here and find some green quests to do after we finish these two quests. Um, otherwise, things might get a little tedious. You just, you keep going that way. Uh, I really don't want to deal with you. Oh, we can get to Foreman Bonds from right over here as well. I'm not seeing a minor hack it this way. Maybe he's back here? God, come back here, please. Great, perfect. This is going to help out a lot. <laughs> this is... This, oh man, he just ripped that guy apart. Oh, you're level 32. Oh man, he's... He's obliterating these guys. I mean, granted, he's got four or five levels on him, but man, that's impressive. Yeah, there's no, there's no minor hack it in here. That that's pretty obvious at this point. It literally marks him right here. So I don't know if that means that he, we're waiting on a respawn or if he can spawn in different parts of the the mine. Not really sure, uh, but I, I guess we're gonna find out. Let's go get Foreman Bonds. And now that we have a little buddy who can just clear everything for us, shouldn't be that big of a deal. Oh, he summoned a buddy. Some Dungarok soldiers. Didn't see that coming, have to admit. I think we're going to have to fear these guys, maybe. Yeah. Oh no, we're good. So Foreman Bonds is dead. Now, if we can just get eyes on Minor Hackett, we, we'd be in good shape, but I've got no idea where he is. If, if Questy doesn't know and we haven't seen him so far, I, I don't know. He could be anywhere.
Yeah, maybe he's back here somewhere, I guess? Oh, there he is, there he is. Okay, so yeah, nowhere at all where it says he would be. And it doesn't mark that he can be down here at all. So I think this is just one of those times when Questy is a little bit off. And yeah, thanks. That's all we need. I mean, we need human skulls too, right? But we can we can basically get human skulls anywhere. The real question is, can we find a way out of here? That's the real question. I think we can go this way. I mean, we really could just hearth out of here. Why don't we do that? Why don't Why don't we just hearth out of here? We can get human skulls anywhere else. We don't have to fight these guys just to get the human skulls. So yeah, let's go. Oh, you spoil sport! You ruiner! You huge jerk! You are You are incredibly rude. And for that, uh, for that, you're going to get retaliation. Didn't even have the decency to drop a skull after all that. They did put two sunders up on us, though. That's pretty awful, actually. Alright, well, the first thing we need to do is we need to empty our bags a little bit, don't we? That's about all we can do for the time being. We get some more food for when we do need it. Speak quickly. Oh, we have another battle of hills bread. Okay, it keeps going. Dwarves aiding the humans? Damn those filthy little beasts. We shall test the strength of the so-called alliance. We'll see how anxious those little ankle biters are to help the humans once they feel our wrath. We know exactly where their stronghold is in this territory. They've established a barracks in southeastern Hillsbred along Thoradin's wall called Dungarok. The final mission of this battle is to lay siege on Dungarok. Captain Ironhill, uh, their leader, must die. Trust no this used to be an elite quest and it's not anymore, right? Yeah, it's not, it's not an elite quest anymore. So we could take that on whenever, I suppose. Uh, what else was done here? Dangerous. Uh, we don't need anything from this. Watch your back. And yeah, that's that's what we've got going on right now. And then we need human skulls that we can get basically anywhere. We can come over here and fight uh, some of the humans at Durnhold Keep to get that finished up. Let's let's go do that. I don't really know if I want to go into Dungarok yet. Uh, I'm not... I'm not thinking that I'm quite ready for that. Yeah, I'm not... I don't think I'm ready for that.
Maybe we can go into Ashenvale and maybe just do a few things. Wouldn't be a horrible idea. Uh, I have the flight point for Zoramgar. And there's a couple of things we can do out there. But yeah, I think we do need to get back into some green level questing. Maybe gain a level or two before we come back here. Uh, that being said, we can gain a level or two doing Scarlet Monastery uh, Graveyard and stuff, if, if that happens. Although Graveyard is not a very big dungeon. You don't get a lot of kill experience in Graveyard. You don't get a lot of loot out of Graveyard. You don't really do a lot in Graveyard, do you? Oh, you guys are level 21. Oh, some of you are level 22. We are kind of hunting for skulls here. I don't know what you're doing, but good luck to you in your endeavors. There doesn't seem to be a lot of, uh, oh, here we go. I feel like this is fine. Okay, they're just not dropping any skulls at all. I mean, it marks them for the quest. I don't know why they just wouldn't drop any. There we go. Oh, hey, we've got respawns. Respawns are fun. Let's take on the respawns. Can probably put our two-hander back on for this and level that up. Anybody inside this place? No, it's one of the ruined towers that doesn't go up anywhere.
Yeah, setting out the target this quest instead of completing it passively is uh, kind of a tedious thing, isn't it? Even on guys we can kill in a couple of hits. I don't know if that means that... The oh, good, <laughs> instant respawn. It's like a, marb, a mob farm. Just keep spawning them right here and we will keep killing them right here. No? Anybody? Okay. Yeah, I guess we're just, maybe if they're a higher level, maybe we'd be getting more. I'm not really sure if the drop rate is different for different guys or different in different areas, but these guys have a really low drop rate. Kind of wish we'd been able to get this one done passively, uh, but that did not happen. We gave it every opportunity for it to happen, it, it just didn't. And now that we're hunting dwarfs, I don't think dwarfs are going to drop human skulls. Just, you know, I, I, I'm not, I'm not a biologist. Or doctor. I'm, I'm trying to attack the player. That, that's smart. That's gonna work. Let's go ahead and eat back to full health. That would be a good idea. Pretty timely to do that now before we just get killed by a level 20 mob without me noticing our health. And yeah, I mean, this area is not going to do us any good with competition. I'm going to get out of here. Let's let's head over to Durnhold and maybe we'll have more enemies to choose from there. Maybe the drop rate will be a little bit better. Uh, I don't know if circling this tower is, is going to work out if other people are also doing the same exact thing. Doesn't seem like a place where two people can farm at the same time. Just saying. Uh, we were there first, though. We were there first. But we can we can move on. Let's come over here. Okay, there's no guard standing outside, so someone has been through here also. Oh hi. Speaking of the guards. Welcome back and goodbye, I guess. Yeah, this is going to be better. This is going to be better. Let's go up the tree and then I, I bet we can find what we need as we circle our way back. 
uh, to the entrance. We can kind of come over here for a minute. Fight the guys up top near the bridge. Come back over here. And by then I'm sure we'll find one more skull. Out through all of that. All right, I mean, I thought it was going to be an easy drop rate, but that's kind of been the story of this quest. I, I thought we would complete it passively by the time we finished up Battle of Hillsbred, and that didn't happen. So it, it makes sense that it's taking a little bit longer than I thought to finish this one up. Okay, still no. Anybody alive over here? It doesn't look like it. Yeah, there's, there's one person back there. There's a guard at the gates. Okay, well, fun times. That was a little scary. I thought for sure we were just going to fall off. Hey, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful bleached white human skulls. 30 of them in our bags. Alright, let's get back and we'll turn this in. I, I don't think this is going to chain into anything, but it might. Yeah, the, the Dungarok quest is level 30, and uh, we are not level 30. What we could do, we could come down here, we can get our, our Mud Snout Blossom. Let's, let's do that before we head back to town. Yeah, I think I think we can do that. That'd be fine. It'd give us a little bit more to do before we head back. We can't get Briar Thorn yet because my Herbalism is too weak. Yeah, as far as dungeons, I don't really know if we're going to do anything else before we go into Scarlet Monastery. We could do RFK again. Somebody said we did miss a couple of bosses somehow. There has to be a boss that left route. You know, when you first go in and there's all those mobs to the left. 
There's got to be a boss back there if we missed two bosses that last run. I just don't know where else they could be. We could do that again. Uh, I don't know if I will, but I might. It depends. But I, I really want to get into Scarlet Monastery. Not really graveyard so much as library, armory, and cathedral. And just, I want to run a lot of that. I know library is also not that great, especially for us, I don't think. I don't think it has a ton of what we need. The last boss drops a lot of really good caster gear. Some shoulders, a staff. I just don't know if there's anything in the library that we need. Uh, this is not going well. Yeah, no, this is going to kill us. These are not green enemies. I'm not going to be able to fight three of them. I really don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, let's try to get out of here and live if we can. Wouldn't that be wonderful just to live? You guys can leash anytime you want, please. Thank you. All right. Yeah, we're going to come over here and eat. We did purchase some better food. That's true. I don't know where it went. Here it is. Probably be an okay time to go back to the uh, sword and board here. I'm not going to run over here and grab these because this paladin is uh, obviously clearing to them. I'm going to grab the one right here though. This guy is doing some weird repositioning stuff. Did you guys see that? That was pretty strange. Pretty strange. I have a feeling they would have went for hours though if we had kept our back turned much longer. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna come back this way and pick up the ones that have respawned because apparently these are respawning really quickly and I'm a big fan of that. Hey, there we go. That was actually really quick and easy. Didn't even have to fight that much to get them. This person's name is Gathering Alt. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess that gets right to the point, doesn't it? Okay, now we get ourselves all the way back to town here. I 
I love when I can see the enemies starting to fall over dead before I see the actual damage numbers. That's a little weird to me, but I have noticed that, like, especially when you're about to get a big crit that's going to finish them off, you'll see them fall and start their death animation before you see the hit number, before you see the damage number pop up. And it usually only happens when you crit them to death from, like, pretty high health. You didn't loot, man. Oh, you didn't loot? Did I not skin this? Did I not? That wasn't mine then. Okay. I did send some gold over from the rogue, so I don't think it's going to be enough to get our mount right at 30, but I think we're going to be pretty darn close. If I can sell some of this leather for like even a handful of gold, like if we can sell all of it and get like five or six gold out of it, then we might just be able to get our mount at level 30. And yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get a mount. I'm, I'm ready to move a little bit faster than this. I am ready. Elixir of Agony, just when I thought another day was going to pass devoid of any joy, you brought me those marvelous mud snout blossoms. First I will mix them down into a fine composite. We'll then need Master Apothecary Farinel in the Undercity to apply his Colloid of Decay to it, and then we'll be ready for some good fun indeed. Take this mud snout composite to Master Farinel at once. No Alright, yeah, we need to go to the Undercity. That's, uh, that's perfect. I need to go to the Undercity for many, many other things. First aid, auction house, quest turn-in. And then we should be basically straightened out. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode here. It's a little bit of a shorter one, I think. Uh, and sorry about that. Maybe we'll try to make the next one a little bit longer. Uh, I do need to find where we want to quest next. Because I, I don't think it's going to be continuing here for right now. I do think we need to head somewhere else. We have options. Uh, what we could really do is, is we can go into Stone Talon. We could go into Stone Talon. I think the first couple lead-in quests would be gray. But if we get back to Sunrock Retreat, uh, we could do it that way. The alternative is we go over into Ashenvale. We'd have a couple of things to do over at Zoramgar. Satyr Horns, destroy the Legion. Yeah, maybe we can go to Ashenvale. We're going to go to one or the other. I'll, I'll kind of plan that out. I think maybe we just go to Ashenvale. I do have the flight point over to Zoramgar. We can grab the quest over there, do those, and then run over to Splinter Tree Post and get that flight point and quest out of there for a little bit. Uh, once we get to level 29, I will do Graveyard. It's a really short dungeon. I think it only has one boss, and I've never seen any decent loot drop out of it. So I'm not as excited for that as I am to start getting into things like Scarlet Monastery Library, Armory, and Cathedral. I'm hoping we can run those a bunch. Get a bunch of kill experience, get some decent loot out of there, 
And yeah, I, I'm still having a lot of fun on The Warrior. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as well. If you are enjoying the series, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. That would help me out a whole lot. And if you want to support what I do more directly, check out the join button on YouTube or find me over on Patreon. Thank you so much to those that do already do that. You guys are helping me make sure that I can continue doing this far into the future. So yeah, thank you so much. Thank you guys for being here. Take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back in Azeroth sometime soon. Bye now.